Now, as I said, the manufacturers will create the azimuth charts for you and the elevation charts. And they're often called radiation patterns. And they do them for all of the different antennas that they make. Now, a lot of times they call them polar charts. And, you know, when, whatever word you want to use, it's just basically a way for us to be able to see the signal strength relative to where the antenna is. Oh, did you hear me say relative to where the antenna is? That's an important aspect because you look at some of these charts and you might say, wow, look at that coverage. When really what the chart is showing you is how the uh, signal attenuates going by the dB rating. So you might see one that looks like it, you know, it's going to cover the world when it might only have a distance of 20 feet. It's relative. It's kind of like if I were to shine a flashlight at my hand and uh, you would see the shadow of my hand on the wall. The further I move the flashlight from my hand, the smaller it's going to look. The closer I get it to the, my hand, the bigger it's going to look. But these charts is just a representation of the antenna and my fingers, right? It doesn't actually represent the area of coverage, but it's just representing my hand. Whether it's a tiny chart or a big chart, it's still my hand, so that's why it's a relative type of a measurement.